Our mission was to, to go down there and use baseball as an avenue to share the gospel. We would play a game in the morning um, and share uh, a testimony with a player or coach with the teams that we played and then go do um, some type of ministry opportunity in the community down there. We got to play a lot of good baseball. Uh, those kids are a lot better than I was. Smooth hands, uh, quick hands, uh, good bats. It, it was just fun to watch. Obviously, they're super talented. They did a ton of cool stuff that you were like, wow. And they weren't, it didn't look like they were trying because they were just so smooth with it. Anytime you go on the road and you get to spend time together, um, it puts you in a position where um, there's, there's not a whole lot going on other than interacting with each other. We had to talk. I mean, our phones wouldn't work, so nobody could um, cut up with their phone and not talk. We were kind of forced to be together, just staying in a hotel together, flying together. It, it was a good experience. I think the first trip that we took uh, into the community down there to go to an orphanage for disabled children, um, it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough. These kids, you know, were left um, because their, their families didn't accept them. And we were there and we were just showing them love. Honestly, the only thing they could understand was physical touch because they couldn't, we couldn't communicate. Um, some of them couldn't talk or hear. It's just tough to walk in there and realize that these kids have disabilities and, and nobody wanted them. They were dropped off at this orphanage, um, some of them as young as, you know, birth. So just to touch them and let them know that you're there was, was really cool and really special. They had so much joy, even though, you know, they weren't in the best situation. So it was a good perspective. It was like, our problems don't even compare to this, but yet they still find joy in the little things. To walk through that orphanage and to watch our players, like almost like just just sitting there, kind of kind of leaned over um, bedside or crib side with these orphans and just holding their hand and just talking to them. Um, yeah, it was emotional um, just to watch it because. You could, you could see our kids just pouring themselves into these kids. The second day, we went to a, uh, a village just to kind of give them food and hang out with the kids um, and just, you know, minister to the, the village. We walked in the church. Um, some guys shared their testimony, which was really cool. And then we were blessed enough to hand out some food and we each individually got to pray over a family or um, an individual, which was a really cool, special moment. While we were there, we got to see their baseball field. It was just a little uh, cow pasture, I guess, and with some rocks as an infield. Horses in the outfield, dogs chasing pigs. It was crazy. And we went out there, field ground balls, and I'm telling you, that 14-year-old, he looked pretty good. Um, I don't know if I'd take him over Cam, but <laughs> it was pretty close. All the kids in the village came by and just everyone was so happy. They had so, so little, but they were just pure joy with how little they had. I was talking to JJ, the translator, and he said, some of them never leave the village. So they, they have no idea that the beach is 10 miles away from them. We complain about when we have a bad hop, you know, on turf and they're playing and making awesome plays, you know, in gravel and uh, poorly cut grass. So it's, it's just, it's a good perspective you know, and uh, you don't have to have the nicest stuff to play baseball. It's the same game no matter where you go. We tell our guys, you know, the best way for you to grow and, and to serve other people is to get out of your own little world. We all struggle with that, and myself included. I'm talking to myself just as much as our players, like, hey man, it's not about you. It was a great experience, and we got to do, a, you know, a wide range of things. We fully got to get out and experience what the Dominican Republic is like and what its people are like. There's people in this world that want to give um, that are extremely um, full of gratitude and, and thankfulness, and they have a fraction of what we have. Our players, they got it. They, they got it. They knew why we were there, and uh, that was fun to watch as a coach.